Hey everybody, welcome back. Trailer reaction time, and today I got a blind trailer. I'm going in blind, I don't know anything about this one. We're gonna watch trailer number one for Shock and Awe. Um, I think I saw, I wanna say Woody Harrelson, but now I don't remember. In the thumbnail, um, I, I don't know, I love it. Anyways, you guys wanna see this trailer without me in the way, there is a link in the description below, or something's popping up right about now, you can click on that, check it out, come on back, watch this with me, and then we'll geek out over it together, should it be geek out worthy. All right, so again, these blind trailers, they can be hit or miss. I just love movies. I try to see as much as I can and know as much as I can about what's happening in the cinema universe. And maybe one of these days I'll get off my butt and actually make one. Again, it's been a long time. But uh, <laughs> see what happens. But it is a blind trailer. I got nothing to say about it until I see it. So uh, let's watch. Simply stated, there is no doubt that Saddam Hussein a lot of companies. Of mass destruction. Oh, that's shock and awe. What is They're up with- They're dialing up the rhetoric on Iraq. Let's see if we can nail them down, okay? Let's get to work. Woody Harrelson, who is that? We're working on a theory that the administration has already decided to go to war and now focused on how to justify it. It's not a theory. We're working on something important. That's why I'm here, to make you an offer. Oh. Wow. Oh, it even walks like he has a bronze star. What do you want to know? Everything the administration doesn't want us to know. A secret war planning group has been set up in the building where I work. And which building is that? The one with five sides. <laughs> How real is the chatter about Iraq? Barry, are you looking into an Iraqi connection? No one's actually come out and said anything publicly. Maybe it's just backroom speculation. Can't we hit it harder than this? I know that a man named Ahmed Shalabi wants to replace Saddam Hussein, that the neocons are pushing for the invasion, and you are quickly becoming my favorite writer. Well, let me down. The roof is coming from every major media outlet in the country, except yours. Right. I'm speaking to you because I'm an American citizen, and I don't like what these people are doing. You guys see this. What do we do? When the government says something, you'll only have one question to ask. Is it true? Search is underway to find those responsible. We write for people whose kids get sent to war. Our readers need to know. The president's going to invade Iraq. We're going to run her whether he comments or not. The president's lying. He's lying. What was the setup? There's always something you don't see coming. They don't care about the truth. If they want a war, they're going to get one. My sources might even be in this room. Did you actually have sources in the room? No. But it was fun watching them sweat like whores in church. <laughs> <laughs> so is Rob Reiner directing as well as being in there. Um, I don't think that trailer was as strong as it could be, but the cast and the subject matter, and Rob Reiner's a good director, that's enough to have me sold. I don't think I would rush to the theater for this, but that's absolutely like a Blu-ray watch or at least a Netflix, if nothing else. That looks really good. I'd be very interested in seeing that side of the story because, um, you know, there was a lot of... a lot of stuff. We don't really talk politics on the show, on this channel, you know, because it's so divisive, but I would find that story very, very interesting. Uh, but, you know, we do talk movies here, so feel free to talk about this trailer and drop some uh, thoughts of your own in the comments so I have some fun reading to do. I do like to hear what you guys have to say uh, about these films and these trailers that I check out. Other than that, though, you can click that thumbs up button. Give me that good old thumb of encouragement, as I do love to be encouraged. And I guess I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to go watch some more stuff. I'll see you all later.